So that means that you should know the formula, yes, for increasing annuity? Yeah. Okay. Symbols. Say that again. You don't like the symbols? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, tell me. Okay, it's going to be. Do I have to do the notation? Because I don't know how to say it. We'll just, yeah, I would like to know the notation. Okay, it's going to be X times the IA. Oh, the X times the IA. We're still rainbowy. Yeah, bar or N bar. Bracket. Okay, whatever, same thing. And then I. Okay. And then it's equal to. X times the annuity due. Okay. Minus N, V to N over I. Good. Kind of. We got there together. We, we, got we did got get there. Good, good. So, yeah, that is the formula, and I'll take a little bit of time towards the end of the class to derive the formula to where it comes from. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. We'll be okay. Oh, for sake. Problem. We're still it's doing just, it. It just confuses me. Why does it confuse you? Then I'm like, oh my god, I need to know how to do this, and I know. I just need to know what. The you thing might is. need to know it if, if at a future date. You never know. <laughs> you just really want to derive it that ago. It's just an algebra. The technique is the it. technique used to derive it. Is, what's that? He just said he just loves to derive formulas. I do, but I'm an algebraist. Why wouldn't I want to derive a formula? You just enjoy doing it. It's his favorite part of teaching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They have proving things about David Really? Do. Proving? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're mathematician, of course I want to prove that. Yeah, but proving is not my forte. Was it? I said I don't remember any proof technique, so when I still got his contradiction, and that's proof you just got to come up with like an example why it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody asked me how to prove it. Something was subjective, and I said I didn't know. Like I could tell you if it was or wasn't, but I can't. Remember. I don't remember if subjective is. Subjective one to one. It's on to. Your, on to. I don't know why objective is wrong. It talks about objective and independent study, and you back down to girls and was like, you guys remember what it is? And me and Julia were like, <laughs> <laughs> surjective is like you're trying to solve an equation. You set the function equal to a value and try to solve. That's surjective. It means it's on to. That you can always solve the equation. I know, students always have a hard time with surjective. Injective, you know to start with f of x1 equals f of x2 and try to get down to x1 equals x2. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Like on my phone, and it was like I found this like thread of math memes. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it was like this like top like have you ever seen the show Toddlers and Tiaras? Tiaras? No, I've like, not heard of it. Yeah, yeah. It was a like a screenshot from an episode of that show where this little kid had dramatically thrown herself on the ground and was screaming, "I just can't do it anymore." <laughs> <laughs> and it was like like the meme was like captioned like. Me when I have to do math problems. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Same. That's what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, so since everybody since everybody watched the videos, then everybody should know how to do uh, number two on the sheet. Alright, we got it. Lose some typos. I didn't do it yet. <laughs> Super Polish. Super Polish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does have a house of stuff. I could change that from my night She does have a house of stuff. Yes, she does. I don't know how that's going to be. Dr. Ross has been there. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is it just like a maps and stuff? He likes to collect old maps, so he's probably been in there to look for old maps. Because uh, he goes to the second hand store and looks for maps. Yeah. So. The fact that he's in there doesn't surprise me. I need some good places to shop the furniture that I could do. You should have gone to the good furniture place and went out of business at an auction on Saturday. I, I was know. moving in on Saturday. You, was that? You should go I was moving on Saturday. Sorry. I've already done my IKEA shop. I'm kind of thinking about going to auctions for furniture. Yeah, you might as well. For state sales. State, state sales. Well, they had the state sale out by our house. It was. Not good. <laughs> I'm gonna start looking at antique stores. I'm gonna start going to the antique well, the antique stores in between in between here and uh, St. Louis on that Taylorville Road. On How many 48. antique stores are there? All? There's like one well, in every like town. Like, yeah, like, yeah. 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 Like, yeah
had to like ride on the highway for like four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Raymond had, had one. I've been wanting to check yeah, out one. Oh, Raymond, I think I have one too. That's the one I've been really talking about. I feel like that's what he's got to prize us from. I'm just searching for the cops. For the cops, that was sick. Yeah. 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 It happened. That was speed. Was you saying play your version of the game? Yeah, I made it to the airport in Springfield one time in less than 30 minutes. Apparently, she'll have Haley practice. She was winning. Yeah, I've been home in three hours. I made it to the airport in Springfield one time in like half an hour. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm That's not even possible. Jeez. It was more like, like five minutes, but like, I was fine. Uh, clearly. I was in a hurry. Clearly. I like to take the scenic route whenever I drive. I do too. It's much more fun. There's a really good one in between, like on Mossbridge Road and stuff, going towards Mount Zion. Mm -hmm. It's where it's my new drive. It's awesome. I, I, if I'm thinking of the way, I should go that way too because it's gonna stop. Even if it takes me five minutes longer, I'd rather go the long way so I don't have to stop. Jeez, you're kind of scary. No, not as Julia. I always make fun of me, but I don't like sitting in the stoplight. Hello, how are you? Hello, good. Good, we're working on the second problem on here. Did you win your conference? Did I win the conference? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's possible. <laughs> it was a good conference, though. It was fun. Dr. Joe, what sport did you play? <laughs> what sport did you play? This weekend? Yeah. I went for a run. Me too. I know. I looked you up. And do it. Okay. And do it. And you looked at mine. I didn't train though, so it was all good. Wait, you finished. That's the important part. I did. I think Friday's my favorite. You cried last time? <laughs> I did. The other last one was really rough. It was in Charleston and it was really hilly. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. I yeah. couldn't like even for the rest of the day. I felt like that for. <laughs> Oh, I don't remember how to put it into the beginning. I'm there, but I don't know how to uh, put it in. You hit second VEGN, and so it, says, it should say N on your screen? Yeah. Hit second set. Second set. And then second quit. You. You're welcome. I was like, I know it's like here, but where's the enter button? I'm glad I'm recording basically nothing right now. <laughs> Are you going to open the calculator? There it goes. Over your shoulder. No, look over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I just say that you do, and I hope this one is a good for us. Did I do it right? Yeah. No, but I didn't get the right answer. Wait, no, hold on. You did the right idea. They gave you the nominal right, so you need to divide the point on that four before you take it over. Doesn't matter. Oh, I gotta do college. Oh, okay, what? Oh, would you divide by four, not three? It's already doing that to you in quarters. Yeah, how many quarters are in a year? Uh, 
Okay, the screen. Can I not touch it with my hand, though? No, no, no I always touch it with my hand. Sometimes it messes with this. But sometimes it flashes. That's why I mess it with my hand. I think you're off the writing utensil now, though. What? Oh, no, it's back on. Okay, you're good. Okay. It looked like it had turned off the writing utensil and was going to the select utensil. Instead. Okay. So am I allowed to rest my palm on this or yeah. no? Okay. Yeah, you're good. All right. Ah! It'll be fine. Doctor, I keep hitting the keypad. 
Oh, I need to move the keypad. Let me do that. Let's just pop that sucker off. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Two. I should have asked yes. you if I did this right before I put it up here, but hey, if I get it wrong, well, I'll get it wrong together. Well, I got an answer that was on the sheet, so I'm feeling good about it. <laughs> There's a calculator on my desk. Is isn't the I at the bottom times twelve or not? No, it's it's the it's the monthly right on the bottom here. Yeah, because it's always the interest per period. Hard to write on this thing. No. You don't like the dollar anymore? No, yeah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me change the color. She doesn't like the rainbow. Uh, black. There you go. That's purple. But we'll pretend it's black. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> she said darn? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Haley. That was nicer than I thought it was. She was gonna say. <laughs> I think you just feel concussed after being at conference. <laughs> was it that bad? No, it was good. No. Okay. Except for the dude saying the collection point, except for what you're telling me. I'm trying to say anything about that. You kept saying inflection point, and he meant maximum. That one kid that started talking about like his, the T score and the Z score and saying something else too. Yeah. That whole first presentation was. How about the question about vanilla ice? <laughs> that was just weird. Did I do it right? Mm. I didn't do it. I told you I didn't do it. Wrong. <laughs> I think your interest rates, right? Yeah, that's so funny. All that is good. All that is good. Yeah, that's great. Yes. So what was the X? Two. The X in the plot formula? When did we, it said to calculate X as well. Oh, X is the present value. Uh, she put X in the formula for the, the thing. Sorry, my bad. That's where it was on the oh. thing. I didn't feel like writing point four ways. Yeah, that color really does mess with your eyes. It's not funky. It is purple. Where's the oh, there's the black. Oh, purple looks good. Purple is a good color. Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay. Oh, there's a shocker. All right. So, Dr. Joe, is the X for like the principal and then how much it increases by? Yes. That's exactly right. That's, that's one of the things that we need to notice that. My page with all this written down is in my. What might be the N over the. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even use it. Just type it in the calculator. Yeah, that's why you have a calculator. Yeah, but I don't learn. How would I show you how to do it? I don't learn how to do it. Yes, him. So, what if you had a principal and an increasing annuity at the same time? Would it be 100? Like, let's say she had 100, two, would it be 100 times 2 or 100 plus whatever? You mean it was 102, then 104, then 106? Yeah. So, you would. We'll handle one of those here in a minute, but you would handle the hundred as a level and then do the two as the increasing part. So you'd handle it as two separate ones. Okay. So let's see if we can do this with the calculator, part of this at least. All right, so the first thing you had to do is convert your interest rate, right? Yes. Okay. 
So convertible quarterly, it was 9% convertible quarterly. So I take the 0 0.09 divided by 4, add the 1, right? That to the fourth power has to be 1 plus the interest rate to the 12th power that we want. So I need to raise this to the 1 third power. So that's our 1 plus i that we want. 1 third, let me show you again. 0.09 divided by 4. Add the one. Okay. Then I use. Okay. Then I open up a different window. <laughs> I use the Y to the X button here. Okay. And then I just type in three, and then hit the reciprocal button. So that'll do one third, right above it. Okay. And then hit equals. Okay. I like that. I know. But if I use this calculator for the annuity, I want to have the interest rate over here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Subtract so it with one to get the interest and then I'm going to multiply by 100 because remember I had to type the percentage into the, the uh, time value of money buttons. All right, so let's clear time value of money. Let's put that in the interest rate per period. Uh, there's 60 periods because it was five years but monthly. And we're going to do the annuity due formula without a payment to start with. So we'll put in one for the payment. Do you have to put in that, or will it assume that it's one? Um, I assume it'll assume it's zero if you do clear time value of money. Did you not put in a payment? I did. Oh, okay. I think you have to, because I think it'll get an error. Because I think it, when you do clear time value of money, I think it sets everything to zero. And then I need to change this over to begin mode, which I did not do to start with. And then let's compute present value. So negative 48.6077, is that what you got, Grace? <coughs> yeah. Okay. So that's just that that's just the annuity due part. Remember our formula. Okay, so you do you do you do let me store this real quick. I'm gonna store this in number one so I don't lose it. You do second begin mode, right? Okay. And it should say E N D on the top right now. Hit second and then set, and that's how it toggles in between the two. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's, it's the set up here. I feel like the arrow should work with that. I, I agree with you. I feel like the arrow should work with that too, but it doesn't. It'd be much easier. Yeah. All right, so I stored the annuity due part in number one. I need my, I should have stored my. 1 plus i as well because I'm going to need that in a minute. So I'll do it again. 0.09 divided, divided by 4, add 1, raise it to the 1 third power. That's 1 plus i, right? So I need to raise that to the negative 60 power because I need v to the n. V is the reciprocal, right? And then multiply it by 60. So 38,449, is that what you got for that one, Grace? I guess I could just flip it back over here. There it is. And then I need to subtract that from what I stored in number one. So I just change the sign to negative, and I'll do plus recall one, and get 10.1587. And then again, I should have saved the dang interest rate, and I still didn't do that. So let me store that. I'm going to put it at number four just for a change of pace. 0 0.09 divided by four, add one, raise it to the one third, take off the one. There's my interest rate. I'm going to divide it by number four, and that's upside down, so I need to reciprocate it. So 1364, and then I need to multiply that by two because that's the payment. So 2729. See, Grace, you didn't do it right. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty close. Good job. I'm sorry, I was way behind. I got my on and off and my on and off and clear buttons mixed up and I was real close. Oh, okay, cool. Good, good, good. How did you do the, the 60V to the 60 on the calculator again? Okay, so I did 
Again, I should have saved the, the interest rate. 0 0.09 divided by 4, add 1, raise it to the 1 third. That gives me my 1 plus i. Mm -hmm. I need to raise that to the 60th power, but I need to have the reciprocal, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do 60 and hit the plus minus key. So I'm going to raise it to the negative 60th and then multiply it by 60. That gets my nv to the n. So there's where the 38,449 comes from. I think this is why some people put eight digits on the screen so they can just go back and forth to the other calculator and type it in because they are more comfortable with the 84, or the, not the 84, the 30. Does somebody know? We're doing these kind of computations, I agree, but I hate, I hate switching calculators. It'd be nice if they talk to each other, like you could just transmit the button from one to the other. That's what TI really needs to do so they can talk to each other. Just tap it, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be fantastic. Isn't that a Samsung one of the calculators, one of the phones that you could just all right, is this one okay with everybody? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's look at number 12. Do you want to work on number 12 yourself a little bit, or you want me to go ahead and just do it? Okay, we'll look at it first. Number 12. This is what you were asking me about earlier, Sam. This is, this is that type of problem. This one's germane for this, but that's the formula for the future value of an increase in the value. So I'm writing down there some of this. Yeah, the same time. What's the quit button? Am I crazy? Just quit. I think it's going to be small. It's like the opposite of where you expect it to be. Like it's going to be the opposite. Is it? I think I don't know what it is. 
Yeah. I'm surprised they don't start with nine in the bottom corner and put one in the top corner. So the telephone? That would throw me off so much. When I worked at Sears when I was an undergraduate, that the cash register were like that. It was like a telephone keypad. Yes, they don't like it. Did you round? I did round. No. <coughs> You do it that way. I would probably 
make your life a little bit easier, I would probably make it 450 and then make sure the first one is 50. Because if you can do it your way, you'll have to do the present value and then move it back one more step. Yeah. You can certainly do it that way. I just I would make it a lot easier when I have to do it that way. So. As a matter of fact, Time value diagram helps. But it's fine. It would be well. He didn't die, but yes, it would be a very embarrassing way to die. Yeah. I wonder if it happened instantly or if it was like a little delay. It might have been a little delay, I'm guessing. But. Imagine how scary it would be if it happened instantly. Yeah. Like, think that you broke your own neck or something. Mm -hmm. Actually, you go a lot faster. It, they do go a lot faster when you just learn how to use a calculator. Just explain that to Haley. <laughs> yeah, that's the one of the trickier things with the calculator. And this one is for one of your annuities, you need to make sure it's in end mode, and the other annuity, you need to make sure it's in begin mode. Yes, there's a little small one. That's where roughly they are. They just like pop off the bottom, right? Oh, no, it's part of the bridge. Have you ever had the two bridges? I split it up like how that is. No, but I have seen one starting to die. So it might should die. You can always take two and make you worry about it. Well, I need to make out the Oh, yeah. So then we're looking for twenty calculators. I think so. As long as you have to reset all of them. So we can bring them all. You can bring your little gifts in. Just use one for each one. Before you're done, just real quick. So they'll make you reset every single one of them for you. I'm not sure I can push my luck though. See how many calculators you bring in. Yeah, I'd be a little scared to take one of them anyway. Yeah, I have a penny too. You can only be a bit of a penny or two, I think that's it. Why would you have a penny? So they'll let you take in like five of the same calculator? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Know, you just don't want them to hate you? <laughs> pretty much. They want you with a metal detector, so. Yeah, yeah they do, I know. Yeah, they're done. They made me fall my sleeves and my arms, and I have that long sleeves on. Why? Pull out of your pockets. Make sure you didn't anything anymore, basically. Yeah, I could let it. You could. You can't check that. No, there's cameras on it, though. Oh, I still have them. I'm actually trying to find the sufficient way to cheat, but. Like, I'm just saying, if you're staring down your shirt, then like. You no, know, the best way is to write it on your shoe and then. Then you take your shoes and pull them off. Sounds way too yeah. intense for me, Dr. Neal. I'm going to have to pass on this exam. When you put it on your ankle, you like slip your shoe off and like... You're just trying to think, oh, it's cheap. I'm not good at it, Dr. Joe. Have people tried to cheat like that before? Oh, I'm sure they have. That's why they check those things. 
That's why they would check it. Because they make you take your glasses off and put them on the table and like like look at them and inspect them and like turn them around and put them in and Yep. Probably Google Glass is what they're checking. What's that? The one where you're supposed to be able to look at and see the stuff like projected in your glasses. So Google Glass is, yeah. I didn't even know that existed. That's yeah. like some spy kid stuff. Yeah, I know, it is, isn't it? That would mess with my eyes. I don't want that. I would do it. God bless. Bless you. <laughs> Do we see why I split this up into two pieces for this one? So it started at 500 and it increased by 50 every year, right? When you're doing the increasing annuity, it has to be the it has to start at the same amount that it increases by. For the annuity formula to work, right? Because the annuity formula assumes that you have a payment of one to start with, and then two and three, going up by one each year. This one doesn't start at 50 and go up by 50 each time. It starts at 500 and goes up by 50 each time. So since it goes up by 50 each time, I made 50 be my starting first payment. So then my first payment matches the amount that goes up each time. Well, if 50 is my first payment, then the other piece must be a 450 level. Yes, and you start at 500 and then you start after. You could, you could make it 500, but then your 50 would start here. So when you do the present value of the annuity that starts here, it only bump it back to time one, they have to bump it back again. So you can do it that way, it's just as there's an extra V that would be in there. There would be, well, in that, if you did it that way, it would be 500 A angle 10.05, and then you would have a 50 V I A angle in that case, it would be 9.05. Yeah, you can, you can do it that way, but you have to have the V in there. Which is why I said it would be, it's a little bit, there's an extra step in there that I wouldn't do if it were me. Yeah, you can. I mean, you'll get, I mean, you can do it both ways. You'll get the same answer. Hi, Grace. Is the IS N bar mm -hmm. bracket I, is that just equal to... One plus i to the n times the other one? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sure is. Oh. How do you say it? I is. I is. Uh, I is. I n bar or bracket. Is bracket. Not. Bracket, yeah. And bracket. Yeah, that's exactly right. So you don't have to remember what one was. You can just do one and then multiply the other one by one plus i to the n. <laughs> Grace, do you, have the, no, do you have the individual numbers for those two? Yeah. Um, the first one is 3,174 and 74.7807. Um, plus 1,968.667. Is that what you said? Well, help me out with the total. Uh, Sorry. So the present <laughs> value then is five thousand four hundred and twenty-three point four four eight one six five. Okay. So that's the first thing you have to figure out, right? Anybody else get that number? Uh, I don't know what I did wrong with this. Okay. Well, let's see if we can do it together. I'm already in begin mode. So the payment's one, not 11. The payment's one. Uh, the interest rate is five. The years is 10. And we need to compute present value. Make sure I stored that. Okay, 1.05 to the negative 10 times 10. And then subtract that from that and divide it by 0.05. And times the first thing by 13. I haven't done that yet. I mean, I do it, do it at the end. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, you want to do it at the end. Okay. 
Whatever she said. That's the right one. I assume so. You see, trying to trust me. I even like go through it. I feel like they got the same ish thing. Same ish thing. Yeah. Let me double check. Twenty-five. Oh, for the final answer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Female underclothes. Are we okay with this part? Because I'm not. We're not done. Quite done yet, right? Doctor Trouble, the act of the rules, the things the acts on the other side. Say that again. What are we dividing that? Okay, I got that now. This number? Yes. Uh, we haven't set it up yet, right? So the other one is this is your present value, so you need the 5443 and change is X times it's an annuity immediate for forty quarters, right? <clears throat> and then you had your interest rate here, which was somebody was telling me what point oh one two two seven. Yeah, so you should be able to solve. So in this case, we should be able to do this completely on the calculator. So um, let's get this out of begin mode. One point oh five to the one fourth power, subtract off the one, multiply it by a hundred, and then I have forty quarters. I have a present value of fifty four four three point four four eight one six five. And compute the payment. One seventy three oh two. Are you still in begin mode? No, I did on a different calculator. You did on a different calculator. What'd you type in? Uh, I would need this one point. Oh, uh, I got one. I got the right answer. Why would you this one point? I just pressed the grace. I got the same answer. I got, so that leaves the same thing here. Okay. Because sure. Okay. And then I still think it's set equal to this. That's what I got for the. For this. Okay. So you type this stuff in. Say 1.05. Because I got to change the interest rate to the year. It's only for a year. Yeah, they really didn't have So that's the fourth. I had to do the one fourth. That's why you got such a small yeah. number. That's why you got an extra decimal there. That's what's fun with your issue. Well, it's good that we had a good class today. We got through two problems. <laughs> I mean, at least we're good. Now we know what we're doing. Now you're going to know what you're doing a little bit. Okay, so for next time, watch the other videos for Chapter 8. Sound like a plan? How many are there? I think there's just one more, I think. I think there's 12 in that one. Oh, maybe I don't want you to watch all of them then. I you said there was 12. Are you talking about the number I got number three. Uh, let me see. The perfect two and eight is to The probability test is next week. Yes. What? Cool. Oh, there it is. This is ours. Oh, just do the next three. Yeah, do the next three. Okay, next three. Huh? Next story. I watched them all because I had my chapter. Oh, Dr. Joe, can we make it a 
promise to get out of probability right at 50. Yeah. Yeah. So I can go home and watch the Cardinals game at 207. <laughs> Marshall, if you miss like 10 will, minutes of it, it's not going to I will do my best. It doesn't start. We don't want to watch the ninth inning again, though, do you? <laughs> I'd like to watch it score some runs, but I'd like to watch it. I was actually listening to the game on the radio driving back home yesterday from St. Louis. That was a that was a, that was a boring game. It was good. It was a good pitching battle until Carlos Martinez decided to forget how to pitch. Yeah. Again. Again. Baseball's hard, Marshall. Yeah, apparently. I mean, we lost one of our best relievers for one. Are we going to win our big Oh, that's kind of fun. I forgot that I had shut that turn off the recording. Yeah. Would, that make, would that make the video audio better? Or? <laughs>